Oh, there you are, Theo. Honestly, late to your own dream. Do you even know where you are? Ah, well, it's time we got you sorted out with these cards. Come on now, we haven't got all day. Oh, sorry about that. Just give that rewind button a tap and we'll see if we can't start walking around things instead of into them. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. Now, give these a whirl and see where they get you. There you go! Remember, Theo, you can look around at any time. What's that just there? Maybe you should give it a peek. Hmm. I wonder what that's doing sitting around here. Maybe you should keep your eyes open for other interesting things. You never know what you'll find. Well, we're done here. Go on, leap into your family's arms. Lauren and Nathaniel are waiting. Woken unceremoniously by a sudden noise, our hero Theo felt that, if he was to be kept awake, he deserved to know why. Theo felt the lure of sleep and the comfort of his bed, he really should go and investigate this ruckus. Hearing the yelling from the kitchen, Theo wondered if he had really moved from his bed just to listen to some tiff. Despite his efforts, Theo couldn't simply stay here forever. He had to find out what was happening. Ah, perhaps things were a little more serious than he'd thought.
The kitchen seemed normal. Except, what was that he could see across the room? He had to take a closer look. Theo couldn't believe what he was seeing. His family, motionless on the floor. But that was it. No gun. Nothing at all. Was someone else here? As he turned away, Theo could only think about one thing. Someone was surely responsible for this. And he had to know who. Cautiously examining the hallway, Theo saw no signs of the killer. Instead, he found a path of destruction carved through strange machines before him. Theo moved, the more he realized that something was amiss. That bright red light hadn't always been there, had it? Although he could not shake the image of his departed owners, Theo suddenly found himself somewhere very different indeed. However, before he could appreciate his new surroundings, he found his attention drawn to the glowing hot wall of energy in front of him. Faced with something so clearly hazardous, he thought it might be wise to take a moment to think before diving headlong into oblivion. Oh, what a pleasant surprise! After his daring maneuver, Theo found that he was still alive. Clearly, Theo didn't have time to mess about with a killer on the loose. Perhaps that vent offered a way forwards. Still somewhat tense from his previous trial, Fear was immensely relieved to find no deadly lasers when he emerged from the vent. On the other hand, he was instead faced with a functional, frantic, and quite soggy security robot. Skirted by the distracted machine, Theo found himself eyeing the whole riddled aquarium. 
Either someone was stalking the hall, shooting at water features, or the security needed to work on their aim. Though the appeal of fresh fish was enticing, it was offset by the risk of an unexpected bath. Rather than contemplate such a terrible fate any further, Theo decided to make a quick exit. Advancing cautiously, Theo was encouraged by the sight of another aquarium, this time with the water safely inside, not threatening to unpleasantly dampen his fur. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more seriously. Although Theo could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. That time had arrived. That time had arrived! Tearing his attention away from the unattainable, Theo delicately stepped between the broken remains of some very expensive-looking showpieces. Despite his lack of any understanding of fine art, he was disgusted by the wanton destruction before him. Having successfully weaved past the searching eyes of the guard, he was overjoyed to see that he could just follow the killer through a door, instead of crawling through the ventilation like a rodent. Theo cast his eyes about the grandiose room, the impressive decor marred by the smoking wreckage of robotic guards. Clearly, someone with no respect for interior design had been this way. However, hanging over the remains of a reception desk, Theo spotted something that took his interest. Bright Poor Industries.
Although this place was impressive, Theo knew he... Oof. Despite the damage, the underlying class of this bright poor establishment was clear. The placement of several large aquariums, brimming with exotic fish, was an inspired design choice that Theo could respect. Theo crossed the room, breathing in the intoxicating fragrance of fish while taking care to avoid the remaining hazards. As he did, his mind began to wander. Why was a place like this situated beneath his home? And more importantly, why had these fishy treats not been brought to his attention before? At first glance, it appeared that Theo had stumbled into a storage room for broken glass, except there were other items in the glittering fragments. Grenades? Missiles? An umbrella? From guided missiles to guided dogs, we promise to be explosively Theo padded behind the guard, pondering his discoveries. A hidden underground facility, robotic security, and now rooms filled with odd weapons. What on earth was this place? Looking back, Theo considered that it was perhaps unwise to leave such destructive toys lying around. On the other hand, there was no way someone would leave live explosives on display. Hmm, probably best to ignore it and hurry on. Theo contemplated the ruins of the once magnificent boardroom, which had been reduced to little more than burnt mahogany by some kind of explosion. Apparently, the killer had needed to clear the room in a hurry. But why? Oh, perhaps those lasers were a motivator. With the wall of death slowly advancing, Theo scrambled for a plan to slip by. There, across the room, a shattered glass wall offering a glimpse of escape. Deftly avoiding glass with his paws, 
Fia found his eyes drawn to a large portrait on the wall. Was that... Nathaniel? As he stood, he wondered. How much of all this was his master responsible for? Someone had clearly been rifling through the deliveries recently, though they didn't seem to have found what they were looking for. Obviously, the killer had been looting the facility, and it was unlikely that they planned to use volatile weaponry to spread peace and joy. Being a conscientious cat, Fear knew it fell to him to put a stop to the killer's nefarious activities. Finding himself inside a warehouse, the towering stacks of crates gave Fear some measure of hope. Perhaps the killer would try to search the top of an unstable pile and fall to their doom. Lost in daydreams of the killer being buried alive, Fear stepped blindly forwards onto a conveyor belt, promptly shuffling him up. <sighs> Perhaps he should pay more attention to where he's going. Perhaps it was unlikely that the killer would be ended by fallen cargo, but the belts leading into the dark and deadly machinery seemed to promise an untimely demise. Spotting a bundle under some nearby crates, it appeared Theo's wishes had been heard. However, he tempered his excitement until he could get a closer look. Theo tempered his excitement, he didn't lose it. Stepping over a broken belt with great care, he was disappointed to discover not a body, but simply several empty crates bearing the label, High Explosive. The empty crates led Theo to conclude three things. The killer had found what they were looking for, they were definitely up to something, and Theo's work was not yet done. He moved on with the hope that the killer's loot would be enough to slow them down.
pondered the erratic crusade of the robots as they fired at non-existent threats. Perhaps the killer had just passed through? The belt, unable to tell the difference between a cat and a crate, and lacking the desire to learn, moved him once again as it would any other box. Hmm... As he headed for the door, few couldn't shake the feeling that the strange blue algae was creeping steadily across the wall behind him. Oh well, it was probably harmless. Whoever Theo was following had certainly spooked these poor robots who were all consumed by blind panic. As he carefully padded forwards, avoiding lasers, Theo noticed the most curious drawing etched into the wall. But why would a killer stop to doodle? Theo couldn't stop thinking about the bizarre graffiti he kept seeing. It was unlikely the killer was taking the time for artistic creativity. Was someone else in the facility? As he stepped into the room, Theo found his racing mind halted by yet another drawing of a slightly more significant scale. Theo tried his best to examine the etching, but found it devoid of artistic value. A for effort, he suppose. As he began to move away, Theo couldn't help but wonder who would put so much effort into these acts of vandalism. Was it maybe some kind of poorly drawn calling card? Perhaps, he thought as he carried on, the murderer was simply an awful artist. Whatever it was, the mural failed to hold Theo's interest long enough for any meaning to be gleaned. According to the booming sounds of heavy industry and the massive shipping containers, Theo had found himself in some kind of loading station.
Theo's eye was caught by something colourful and clearly out of place hanging from a rail across the room. A discarded tie. Was this some kind of taunt? It was becoming clear to Theo that the large boxes wouldn't just wait for him to cross, so he quickened his pace towards the infuriating clue. Hmm. Clearly the killer had left this tie to send a message, but in doing so they had left a trail for Theo to follow. Perhaps he'd get the better of them yet. Though he was intrigued by the surprisingly expressive train waiting before him, on the other side of the tracks a curious hole in the wall drew his eye. Perhaps the killer had made their own exit. Stepping onto the train, Theo glanced towards his goal and noticed a strangely carefree-looking robot bumbling around near a control panel. Hopefully this one wasn't a threat. The train began to quake, and Theo couldn't react fast enough to leap off. He had better find something to hold on to. quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament extremely upsetting. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train looped back to the station. past him, Theo pressed himself against the train and vowed to dedicate the rest of the ride to keeping his eyes open for low-flying objects of feline destruction.
tried not to let the burning robot distract him from his efforts to survive. staggered off the train quickly, driven by his newfound appreciation for solid ground and the terrible fear that it might suddenly set off again. Just ahead of him, he could see that bloody robot that had sent the train off in the first place. he followed the irritating machine through the jagged opening in the wall, Theo hoped that he wouldn't ever have to lay eyes on it again. Theo eyed his new surroundings curiously, noting the piles of unused tiles and pipes. Across what little floor existed, there was a sharp drop from which a blinding light and tremendous heat emanated. Besides this abyss, that... Ugh, that bloody robot. It appeared that turning up... Theo was happy to move on and leave that robotic liability behind. Surely the killer couldn't be too far now. Entering another area with limited flooring, Theo wondered why all of these rooms seemed so unfinished. Maybe the... Ugh. It was starting to look like Theo might have a tail. Uh, no, no pun intended. Oh, apparently Theo's new friend had some value after all. This robot scampered over an obvious switch. Theo Brick. <laughs> Contemplating the state of the room ahead, Theo reluctantly accepted that perhaps the robot's help might be necessary. Mm -hmm. 
As he threw a disparaging glance at the machine, Fear noticed some worn writing on his chassis. D4Z. Hmm. reverberated behind Theo, he wondered just what he had done to be cursed with a trundling mishap. Though his companion seemed to be some kind of cosmic setback magnet, Theo had to admit, Daz was endearing, aggravatingly so. Overwhelmed by the heat pouring from the broken machine, Theo mourned the obvious failings of engineering safety standards. How on earth was he going to reach the elevators beyond this mess? when he heard the now familiar sound of Daz activating another switch. He cautiously opened his eyes and was pleasantly surprised to see something positive had finally come from this robot's help. As Daz hurried into the elevator, Theo found himself growing slightly less aggrieved. Perhaps having the little fellow around might even be useful. As the elevator rattled to a screeching halt, Theo found himself suspended on what could kindly be referred to as a rough and ready bridge, or not so kindly as an invitation to a long plummet to certain death. Theo watched as Daz let gracefully down onto the scaffold to aid in his journey across. Theo stared at him, shaming Daz with his steely gaze. Considering the barrier ahead of him, Theo wondered if Daz could assist him once more. With the right guidance, of course. Theo took a moment to brace himself for a potential failure on Daz's part.
Theo found he quite enjoyed the company of the small robot when he wasn't actively annoying him. The unlikely companion set off into the cave, ignoring the tribal warnings decorating the entrance. They were probably just for show anyway. The large chamber was filled with the clanks and groans of tortured metal, punctuated by the steady drip of stagnant oil. Faced with a seemingly impassable split in the floor, Theo stopped to think of a way around. Wait, did, did he just... Uh, dis disregarding the danger, Daz bravely leapt into the chasm to aid his feline companion. Surely he'd be fine. No. Stunned by the loss of poor Daz, Theo slowly padded onwards, barely noticing the more polished and functional walls around him. The only way to proceed seemed to be through a strange airlock. As he stepped inside and felt his hair begin to rise, he wondered if something was amiss. Huh? Ah! Ah! Well, thoroughly perplexed. Theo could only hope he wouldn't spontaneously burst into a cloud of electrons in the near future. Despite the lingering crackles of energy in his fur, Theo found himself occupied with a rather spectacular plume of fire between himself and his goal. With nothing to hand to bar the flames and unwilling to risk singeing his whiskers, Theo was unsure of how to proceed. There must be something he could do. <laughs> Amazing! It appeared that the mishap Theo had experienced had changed him in some fascinating ways. Before another jet of flame could spring up, Theo slipped deeper into the labs. Hopefully the worst was over, but if not, these newfound powers could prove quite helpful. Upon entering, Theo noticed there was a bridge leading straight to the door he needed. A definite positive. However, a large section had decided on a career change and was currently enjoying its new life as debris below.
laughing in the face of those without strange abilities, Theo casually wheeled a path into existence. Theo quickly sauntered across his creation, hoping that physics wouldn't try to reassert itself at an inopportune moment. Once again, Theo entered a laboratory which would have been quite easy to cross, if not for the disorganized heap of crates cluttering the corridor. It was always something. These delays were rapidly becoming infuriating. of the important-looking hardware in the lab, Theo dismissed a feeling of deja vu. There was no way he'd been here before. Yes! Finally! Theo rushed through the doors! No! No, no, no! What happened here? Christ! They can't all be ruined, can they? I built this equipment! I implemented failsafes. Surely some of them must have made it. Oh God, no! It's all gone. What am I going to do? I, I, I can't stay trapped like this forever. There's no way I'll be able to start again with things in this state! And it's not like you'd be able to help! You probably don't even understand what's happening right now! Oh god! Lauren! Oh! Well! Whoever did all this to me was bloody thorough! Just look, Theo! All of my work! Every scrap of progress! Reduced to bent metal and shattered glass! Clearly, whoever did all of this had some training! I bet it was MI5! Or maybe those umbrella swinging secret society ponces! It's just their style to break into someone's home and trash everything in the name of queen and country. The bastards! Christ! This hardware is supposed to be hard to damage! Well, lesson learned! Don't buy from the bloody Bratva! Strong Russian steal my ass, Koskov! My genius! And this is how it ends? I can't even do anything! I'm just along for the ride on the Theo Express! At least our chances of escaping here alive are minimal at best, so I won't have to suffer this joke of an existence for too damn long! Oh, I don't know, Theo. Maybe there's still a chance. We could escape this place and start from the ground up. Even with paws, we could try. And there'd still be viable samples on the... bodies back at home. 
Maybe we could still save her. But it would take years starting from nothing. Even if we did manage to collect viable samples, we'd have no way of storing them for that long. Ugh, and I never found the chance to make a backup of her mind. believe she's gone <sighs> at least Joshua didn't get caught up in all of this who am I kidding I'm not even me I'm just a copy of Nathaniel's bloody mind squeezed into a brain the size of a tangerine um no offense Theo honestly it's amazing that we're both still alive in here at all I've been hiding out in you for months without a body of my own. And when I saw him lying there dead in the house, I thought maybe I'd have my chance.
Do you know what's really strange, Theo? The thing I miss most about having a body, more than anything else, is being able to wiggle my toes. It's bizarre. You'd expect something more grandiose. But it all comes down to the little things in the end. I would literally kill to feel a foot cramp again. Christ, watch out for those lasers, will you, Theo? Just remember, anything that happens to you, happens to me. So this is all I am now. Just a disembodied voice in a cat. Well, it could be worse, I suppose. The earliest experiments were on lesser creatures. Could you imagine scurrying around here trapped in the body of a mouse? Doesn't bear thinking about. You wouldn't still be up for chasing down the killer, would you, Theo? I'll take that as a yes. Nothing like a bit of revenge to get the blood up. I must say, Theo, it is quite a relief to drop the pretense and just talk to you straight for once. I couldn't just be honest with you before, you understand? I mean, what was I supposed to say? Hello, Theo. Don't mind me, I'm just a strange voice in your head. Now be a dear and do exactly as I say. My god, why on earth did I make the laser units so skittish? I can't believe I managed to make them so alert and yet so inept.
What? That shutter should always be firmly sealed shut. Does this agent have no respect? No common decency at all? Get in there, Theo. I won't let this stand. I haven't been here in a very long time. Looks like the flora managed to thrive in my absence. But I can't say the same for the hardware. How on earth are we going to get around all that? I've got to admit, I'm at a loss here, Theo. Most of my ideas tend to revolve around having hands. Well, that'll do it. You know, I find it somewhat disconcerting how well you're taking to your new psychic potential, Theo. I can't deny its usefulness, though. I'd really rather not be back in this place. But if I will stop that damnable killer from making off with any more of my property, then I guess I have no choice. Ooh, I remember this one. Something about self-pollinating crops. Really, who needs bees anyway? Plants have had more than a decade to mull up the wiring. Looks like it must have shorted out the last time someone used the door. We may have to perform some impromptu repairs, Theo. Hmm, that didn't seem to be enough. Needs more power. Nicely done, Theo. We might make an electrician out of you after all. I was so young and idealistic when I made all of this. It's almost sad to see it in ruins. Almost. Ah, the old hydroponics nursery. Lord, that robot must have been keeping this room running for at least a decade. I have to respect the dedication, if nothing else. Careful around those panels, Theo. I don't think that robot has any safety accreditation, and you aren't exactly shockproof. What? 
Watch out for those plants, Theo. I know they either cure third-degree burns or cause them. I just can't quite remember which. Seems the easy way is out again. That vent over there might be an option, though. Lauren would have loved this place back in its heyday. I'm glad I kept her in the dark, though, considering how things turned out. I'm not sure what your plan... Ah! That's certainly an inventive use of your powers. Maybe a little warning next time, Theo. Just try to keep the acceleration within survivable limits, will you? Despite my growing disdain for vents, being a cat sure does give you a unique perspective on things. All this plant life makes it almost pleasant in here. You know, this is where it all started for me, Theo. Not the ventilation system, obviously, but the laboratory as a whole. I was trying to solve world hunger. Ha! Can you imagine? A word of advice, Theo. If the government offers to fund your research, it probably isn't worth it. They always take more than they give. Unlikely to be relevant to you, but worth keeping in mind. Christ, this place is completely flooded! I suppose you won't want to sit a poor in that. We'd best find a drier route. I don't like the way that robot is acting at all. It's just glaring at us. Good thing. Ah! 
Now, why would you do that? Oh, bugger. I think the door needs powering. That was quite crafty of you, Theo. Well, let's get out of here. Ugh, more flooding. Looks like this exit's jammed up tight too. Let's try slipping through the ventilation again. that there's another robot over there, and this one might actually be able to catch us. I'm not sure you'll be able to outrun it. Oh lord, it's going to be very close! Ha ha! Excellent, Theo! That should buy us some time at least. Too close for comfort there, Theo. If we can avoid situations like that from now on, I'd really appreciate it. You know what? I'm getting to the point where seeing my own robots destroying what I've made is old hat. I can't say the irony is lost on me, though. Even though I hate a lot of things about this place, there was a time when I had to fight to keep it alive. The money men were demanding results, and Joshua was on the way. Seeing the rusted ruin it's become is... Unpleasant. Well, the years have not been kind to this place. To think, back when this was a lab, I used to spend most of my time sitting in the middle of that hole in the floor.
This is where I made a major breakthrough. Not with world hunger, though. I realized I could weaponize some of my research. You can bet the people signing my checks were far more interested in that. is where Brightpaw began. At the time, of course, it was just a necessary evil, a way to continue my work. A small slip that would be forgiven once I'd solved all the other problems in the world. Somehow I doubt the elevator is still in service. Up for another jaunt through the vents, Theo? The irony is, I actually figured it out. World hunger, I mean. I was going to change the world, make a real difference to mankind. Best of all, I'd finally be able to share my work with my family. And those bastard pen pushers dismissed me without a second thought. Perfect, but it would have worked. I solved scarcity and they didn't even try. Then I realized if they didn't care, why should I? It's all just history. All that matters now is catching the bugger responsible for all of this. this place still so tidy?
This fellow met his end in a very inconvenient place. I don't suppose you've got any other tricks up your sleeve? thing about this entire situation is that despite all of my research and decades of questionable scientific investigation, I've never seen anything quite like your powers. Ah, this is more like it. They must have been trying to keep up appearances by sweeping all the mess back here. Seems like we're pretty hemmed in here, though, Theo. Folding space-time certainly makes navigating this junk easier. I can't believe I act... Oh, I forgot about these. They were toys for Joshua. I was going to give them to him when I finally introduced him and Lauren to my work. Just goes to show how old all this is. He's a man in his own right now. God, the robots around here have been working away, keeping this place clean almost as long as he's been alive. Despite a decade or two without proper maintenance, the reactor seems to be doing well. I was concerned it might be choked with junk, but it seems it won't explode anytime soon. Oh, don't worry about all the lightning. It's supposed to look like that. Just don't get too close and you'll be fine. It's safe. Enough. Your teleport trick stopped it dead in its tracks. Well, as nice as that is, there's no guarantee it will last. Let's not stick around to test the theory. <sighs> How on earth have they kept this place so clean when they keep doing things like this? Hmm. If your powers prevented the last robot from chasing us, I wonder what it would do to one of these. Oh, 
How wise of you, Theo. Looking before you leap. Oh, thank God. I was sure it was just going to explode. But it should be safe to keep doing this. Probably. Why would they bother to expose the wiring like this? It's obvious they aren't doing anything with it. You would think I'd engineered the laser units purely to destroy my own property. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Guess it's good to know the limitations of your powers, if only to know when we need to run. robot is a lot closer to us than I'd like, but this time we can do something about it. ability of yours is proving very useful, don't you think? Now, we just need to traverse that gap. Okay, Theo, I don't want you getting a big head, but that was good thinking. This place seems relatively calm, if not a little dark for my tastes. On them all, we may have to come up with a different strategy. Ah! Well 
done, Theo. That should give us a little breathing room. This was going to be a place to relax and sit back with a book. Me and Lauren were going to be able to work together, and Joshua would have had an amazing place to grow up. Looks more like a construction site now. Can't see a way past this laser for you. It may shock you, but I've always seen the benefits of physical fitness as well as mental prowess. I thought it would be good for the whole family to stay in shape. Your step, Theo. Unexplained psychic powers won't prevent you tripping and bumping your head. I think it was when I was building this that I realized it would never work out. Lauren would have questioned where the funds came from, and she would have never accepted the truth. She had a very firm outlook on morality, you see. Hmm, I would usually advise we find another route. But you seem to have developed a knack for problem solving by defying the laws of physics. So, 
What have you got up your sleeve this time? Now that's thinking outside the box, Theo. My god, it's a total disaster area. What happened in here? You're getting awfully good at juking those. Even you'll have issues leaping through all this rubble, Theo. Let's find another path before that chaser wakes up. Oh no, we're trapped! I hope you remember how to repeat your latest trick! It's distressing to see the garden like this. I was hoping it might have escaped the decline that befell the labs. make a lovely space for the family. Plenty of room for Joshua to play, and some nice plants for Lauren and I. I always plan to build a nice gazebo just over there. A serene place to just relax and take in the ambience. I had so many plans. But is that a bloody crashed helicopter? What? That's a Fennec chopper! MI5 standard! Those bastards have been after me for years! Is this how the killer got past all my security? Ha! Good thing they went down trying to land in here. There might be something useful in the wreckage. Theo, we've got to go and take a look.
Theo! Come on, get up, Theo! Oh, thank God! For a second there, I thought I was going to be stuck in a dead cat! Theo, are you in there? How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, uh, wait. Bugger! Oh, crumbs! He's brain dead, isn't he? I'm in a brain dead cat! in the facility's sewage system. If we want to find a way out, following the water is probably our best bet. <sighs> I'll leave it to the freakishly competent psychic cat to figure things out for a moment, if that's all right with you. This is all junk from Brightpaw. How long have those damn robots been flushing everything? Christ, and I thought I was in control of things. Watch out for these broken robots, Theo. They're probably still dangerous. What did I tell you? This whole bloody place is a hazard. Keep your eyes sharp. Well, this is clearly not my work. I don't recycle. Who the hell set up shop in my sewers? It's like the further we walk, the stranger things get. Careful amongst all this junk, Theo. Unless you're a big fan of tetanus. Maybe, if we're lucky, the killer fell down here too, and he's just as lost and confused as us. That would be nice. What the? Are there people living down here in my sewer system? How bloody long has this been going on? before it gets us! I'm sick and tired of having robots jump out at me, Theo. What did I do to deserve this? Don't answer that. Was everyone here an agent sent after me? Hmm. I did order my security to dispose of intruders. Perhaps they took it a bit too literally. So these people decorated their homes with surveillance footage of me and collected as many of my robots as they could. Forgive me if I find this a little unsettling. Well spotted. Now let's take our leave. Something about this place is making my skin crawl. It's 
Probably just the wind. Or water pipes. of that building. It must be significant in some way down here. I don't have any better ideas, do you? Of course you don't. There must be something we can do to block off those lasers. Can you see anything, Theo? That robot's coming right for us, Theo! Christ alive! Broken machines are significantly more intimidating when they're chasing you through the sewers! Into that building! Quickly! That's a decent amount of robots. They're not exactly smart, though. Maybe we can slip between them. Sewer-dweller crowd, the concept of spiritual redemption would be quite appealing. You know, for something made out of reclaimed materials, this place is impressive. The stained glass, especially. Is that... Taz? Of course he's the deity of the sewer folk! That just makes perfect sense! And there's a robot in a Pope hat, too! A Pope butt! Are we sure we didn't die in that fall? know that a religion formed in my waste systems. I'm not really sure what to make of it, to be honest. We've climbed a fair bit higher than I thought. That pipe looks a little rickety, but I'm not sure if I can face returning to that church. onto the pipe, okay? I'm sure you can come up with something if you just look around. Oh, 
Dio, what are you planning on doing about that robot? There's not much room to maneuver up here. Good to know you have a plan and you aren't just winging it. You do have a plan. Admired your reflexes, Theo. Now get me away from that damn pipe. Careful, Theo. There's someone here, and they look unstable. What? That toy is Joshua's. Why would it be down here? He's not even in the country. H Hello? Oh, Theo, it's... it's only you. What are you doing about on your own? No. Can't be. What are you doing? My Theo doesn't move. Not anymore. No, 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 you aren't my Theo. Not my Theo at all. I don't understand. Joshua shouldn't be here. He was off traveling the world, having a life. Christ, I don't... We can't even do anything about it. You're just a cat and I'm stuck. I'm sick of this impotence, Theo. I've got to do something, Theo, and I'm never going to be able to as long as I'm in you. We need to start fixing things. I need to make this right. Okay, Theo, we're getting out of here. If I remember rightly, the water in the sewers should flow close to the mines. If we can reach them, it shouldn't be too hard to escape. Come on, I know it looks like it's built of spit and dreams, but it's our way forwards. In you get. Oh, well, that's awfully shaky, isn't it? A necessary evil, Theo. We won't let a damn basket stop us. Those stairs look like the way to go. Where the rock starts. That's our ticket out of here. We just need to deal with that lost chaser robot and then slip by the big guy.
help but wonder why none of those highly trained agents thought to search for an exit before settling in. I mean, you just have to follow the water. It must be the air down here messing with their heads. Go on, you know how to deal with these buggers. There's a lot of bones here. I suppose it's difficult to escape when you've been crushed by something built to crack through mountains. Lucky for us, it's looking pretty low on power. All right, Theo. We've got to be careful ahead. The amount of robots in the mines might be... prohibitive. But I believe in you. Lord, that's a lot of robots. No more than expected, though. We just need to proceed extremely carefully and make sure that we aren't spotted. Run for it before the bastard wakes up and alerts any other guards. No time to wait for them to move, Theo. Just make a break for it. to alarm you, but that guard has woken up and the exit looks distinctly sealed. That's it, the doors are open. No time to punch stuff on the back now. Go, go, go. Okay, Theo. We somehow managed to get through that last chamber without being slaughtered, but we can't slow down yet. The alarm could be raised at any moment. units always seem to cover as much space as possible. I mean, really, do you need a clearance of six meters when you mine? Oh, lovely! That's another guard coming for us, Theo. I hope you can think of a way around it. I swear, it's like I built these lasers just to complicate matters. Nice job. Now leg it.
was intense, but we can keep it up. The mines aren't that expansive, or at least weren't right when I was in charge. Easy does it. Just stay calm and remember that if you don't hurry, we're going to die. work, Theo. Congratulations and all that. We can die at any moment. Let's be leaving now, please. Hmm. I would have expected an explosion by now. Maybe we still have a chance. I don't know how they're going to get past all those robots, though. Ah! are coming down whether we like it or not. Yes! Great idea, Theo! We can slip right around! These fellows have a survival instinct. I certainly never programmed one. Let's get out of here before that fence comes down. I don't fancy being crushed in a robot stampede.
careful, Theo. That's a lot of very agitated robots. How did they even end up in there? We might have a minor ecological disaster on our hands. These roots shouldn't have grown this far. Not exactly high priority right now, though. tree just proves how damn good I am at my job. Yes, yes, okay, let's get a move on. Looks like the robots here have largely cleared out. We just need to make it past those lasers. No, if I'd bothered to make the laser units more mobile, these ones would have probably run off already. Hindsight is 2020, I suppose. Is it just me, or is the amount of rock falling from above steadily increasing? We must be close to the exit now, Theo. I think. A lot has changed since the last time I was here. Look! The rail terminal is just down there! It looks like the robots are still trying to load up the train! If we're quick, we can hitch a ride to safety! How are we going to get over there? Clamber on a robot's head? That was a joke, Theo! But what the hell? It's worth a shot! These bloody machines are just panicking, Theo! 
We're going to have to try and hurt them ourselves. God, this might actually work. around like this is really making me motion sick. I can't believe that worked. No time to stand about, Theo. Still working! We can ride it straight out of the mines! That train is our last hope, Theo! There's no time to make it out on foot! If we miss it, we're completely screwed! train ride. Buckle up, Theo. I think this is going to be much, much worse. Okay, Theo. Things are a little more tense this time, but we've done this once before, and we made it out fine. Probably best to move up the train in case the entire cave starts to collapse, though. I don't think 
We're the only stowaways here. Be careful around those robots. They're dangerous enough when we aren't on a burning train. That's it, Theo. Let's bypass this mechanical menagerie. quickly before the lava consumes it Theo look over there sunlight honest to god sunlight we're going to make it we're so close you can make that gap right Theo surely you can no! It's not fair! It can't end like this! Surely you can do something! You're a psychic cat, for God's sake! So help me God, Theo. If we die this close to safety, I will personally claw my way out of hell to haunt the bastard that set that bomb! Wait, what's that? Is that... No, it can't be! Yes! I was sure he died back in the caves! I never thought I'd be so happy to see you, Daz, you beautiful machine! Now let's get out of here before it all comes down! Oh, um, not to be disrespectful, but we should really get out of here. Sort of comfort, Theo. Oh God, it feels good to be back in open air. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Is that Lauren? A subtle 